A very good day to you and welcome to the program. From uh, my horse Snowy and myself, we want to just say greetings. May the peace of the Lord be with you. I want to speak to you today about a very, very important subject. We want to speak to you about the power of personal testimony. You see, the beauty about testimony is nobody can argue with you because they weren't there. So they either believe or they don't believe, but they cannot argue with you. If we go to the book of Luke, Luke chapter 1 and verses 1 to 5, this is exactly what Dr. Luke was saying. Remember, he was a doctor, and he wrote one of the Gospels, the Gospel according to Luke. And this is what he says, Inasmuch as many have taken in hand to set in order a narrative of those things which are most surely believed among us, just as those who from the beginning were eyewitnesses. There's more evidence that Jesus Christ walked on the earth than there is that Julius Caesar lived. Isn't that amazing? And yet people still doubt that Jesus lived, but they all believe that Julius Caesar lived. That's the way it is, isn't it? It's like some people believe everything in the newspapers, but they never believe what's in this book. It's incredible. Verse 3, It seemed good to me also, having had perfect understanding of all things from the very first, to write to you an orderly account. Okay, he says in verse 4, that you may know the certainty of those things in which you were instructed. This is a testimony. The Gospel of Luke is a testimony about the life of Jesus Christ. Now you and me have got to live the testimony of Jesus Christ. People must see Jesus Christ in us. I heard a story about a, a missionary that went to the South Sea Islands many, many years ago in a, in a, in a big ship, a sailing ship. And when they went on, on, on land, uh, everybody there died. I don't know if they died of disease or whether they were murdered. And this one man was left. They allowed him to stay there with only one condition, that he was never, ever to mention the name of Jesus Christ. Now they knew he was a missionary. And so he stayed there his whole life and he died and they buried him. Then about maybe 20, 30 years ago, another sailing ship came along and the missionaries got off and all the people came and gathered and they were peaceful. There was no weapons or anything. They were loving people. The missionaries sat down, they opened the Bible and they started to tell all the people about Jesus Christ. And these people weren't surprised. The missionaries couldn't believe this. They said, have you heard this gospel before? They said, yes. They said, how do you know about this gospel? We don't see any Bibles. They said, no. But the man that you are describing, he lived here. They said, Jesus lived here. No, no, the man that you're talking about lived here. And they took, they took these missionaries to a graveyard and there was the cross of this old missionary that had died there. His whole life, he had lived his testimony. He wasn't allowed to speak about Jesus, but he loved them. He denied himself. He took care of the poor and the needy. He prayed for the sick. He washed their feet. He multiplied the food. They said he lived here. So folks, I want to say to you that your action must speak louder than words. Your testimony must be a reality of what you believe. And that's what uh, Luke is saying here. He's writing an eyewitness account about what Jesus did. Now, you and me need to have a real testimony. Not one that took place 40 years ago, but about something that happened last week. And when we do that, then we see people sit up and take note. There's got to be passion. There's got to be excitement. There's got to be love. There's got to be reality. How real is Jesus to you today? Well, I want to tell you, it's very real to me. So remember, keep your eyes on the Lord. And from Snowy and I, goodbye. We trust that you have been blessed by today's message. For more information, please visit 
angusbucken.com.